Let's make a new video. Today I want to talk to you about authority. Just hanging out with a couple of buddies of mine. Authority only exists if we give it. Authority sometimes can be taken by folks. But that's not real authority. That's just aggression. Force. Real authority convinces you of its authority. By means of knowledge, experience, moral decency, but the authority that should exist in our lives is us. The reason why these two gentlemen are standing behind me is because a lot of us have gotten off the beaten path and don't really seem too concerned about getting on the right path. We're not supposed to be here to steal from each other, to con each other to use and abuse each other. We shouldn't be here to defraud, confuse. That's why I say the only real authority in this world is the authority that we give folks. But we should not give anybody authority over us and our actions. We should be the person we hold accountable. We should hold ourselves accountable. That's the only true authority. So many times that it's been said that you can't want something for somebody else, they have to want it for themselves. Now usually that's used in the context of addiction. And we all know it's true. Anyone who's been there. Most of the time a parent doesn't like the person their child is dating but they know they can't do anything about it the smart ones know you can complain a lot but that'll just push your child away they have to not like them for them to be gone now I'm not trying to give you advice on making your kid not like them I hope you get my point it's up to us What are we willing to hold ourselves accountable for? And instead of needing two gentlemen like these two beefy guys with these guns, we could just hold ourselves accountable, do the right thing, step up, and when we've done wrong, you know what I'm saying, Chuck, Charlie, just say you've done wrong and make it right. Getting back on the right path is easy if you care. If you don't care, then you could just uh, move along. This video ain't for you. So many times have we let ourselves off the hook that if we would have just done something about it, the world wouldn't have chased us down and maybe two gentlemen like these two guys behind us wouldn't have had to come knock on our doors and make us get things right. It's hard, and this life isn't easy. Resistance is really key to how you know you're alive. 
Now, I don't mean that everything in your life should be hard. I mean that the answers should be out there and you should have to go get them. They're not going to be brought to your door, but the answers are there. And once you go out there and get them and you learn it, your life changes, you learn new stuff, life changes, you learn new stuff, life gets better. I'm sure Dr. Eric Thomas would agree. The more you know, the better the life around you grows. The less you know, the more hostile, decrepit, and just plain miserable life will be. So it's time for us to get the hell up and start doing something. No more sitting around waiting for authority to come knock on our door. We are the authority. I would never wait for these two gentlemen to come to my door before I before I said out loud, I have a problem and I need to fix it. That's truly how I fixed one of the greatest problems in my life. I went to a person I deeply cared about and said, I have a problem and I need help fixing it. And believe it or not, it was the catalyst to everything in my life changing for the better at that time. I was able to leave stuff alone and go to living a normal life. For the most part. So here it is. The authority has to be us. We have to clock in like so many people have clocked out and say, I don't want people chasing me down. I have a problem, let's fix it. I've done wrong, let's fix it. Now you don't have to go out there and describe every wrong thing you did. Just say you've done wrong, you know what's wrong, and you know how to, you know what you need to fix it. And if you don't know what you need to fix it, that's what I'm saying. We need to go out there and chase some knowledge. The knowledge is there, the knowledge is free. And just like this video on YouTube is free for the most part, besides melting your mind with commercials, which luckily none of my videos have commercials, folks, huh? huh? <laughs> I need some commercials for some advertising, folks. Don't be laughing at that. That ain't funny. Anyway. The videos are on YouTube. You can watch them for free. For the most part, you need a phone and some Wi-Fi connection, whatever. But they're there. And they're totally available 24 hours a day. Just like these two gentlemen right here are available. Now, that's the last thing that we want. So, to avoid that, let's do this. Listen to an audiobook on YouTube, anyone you want to. There's a bunch of them on there. Preferably one that'll do you good. Let's get into a habit of picking one out. One a week, one a month. It can't be one a year. That's not going to get us anywhere. Then we got to start to use that knowledge to change us. Listening to Jim Rohn, Les Brown, T.D. Jakes. And just listen and do what they say. We're going to turn off all the other noise. And for the next few days, we're just going to ride out with this new mentality. And I guarantee you, like I said before, if it don't work, you can come punch me in the face. But we got to ride out a couple days. It's going to be a different world. It's going to be a world that we make. We've been held hostage by their Crayola crayon world for so long that all we know is this BS that we can't seem to escape from. It's time to get the hell out. We don't need any of this shit anymore. We don't need any of their stupid games, any of their iPhones. We don't need any of their shoes or purses. We don't need any of their belts. We don't need any of their vacations. Now I'm not saying we won't enjoy it. But that's not going to be the focus of what we are. We're going to control our minds so that way we become the people that we want to be adding value to ourselves. And that stuff will ping to you like a magnet. Like metal to a magnet. Like some certain types of metal to a magnet. You know what I'm saying. It's either that or 
this ball-headed goon and his not-too-bright partner come knocking on our door. So, it's up to you. What do you want to do? I know this is getting to you. I know you hear these words. And you might rile at first. Come back. Listen to it again. And let's take charge of this thing. You can't tip a vending machine over with just one push. You got a rocket. Let's do it. This is where it all begins. We become our own authority. Not these guys. Nothing personal. It's you guys. But we do not want the universe to bitch slap us into submission. So get it before it gets you. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hey, yo, yo, yo. I'll see you in the next video.